Hello, I'm Danny Walkinshaw of Insurance Times. As the business world prepares for tomorrow's budget, I've got the insurance industry view on what to expect. It's in everybody's interest, the industry's interest and the UK economy's interest that it remains competitive. So we need to have a competitive tax regime, we need to have a stable tax regime. So government has said a lot of things about wanting the industry to remain competitive, we need to see those followed through. That mm -hmm. would be very much the first mm -hmm. point. Uh, and in fact, talking to members a little while ago, um, you know, one of the things they're very keen to see is to see that there is no increase, for example, in, in insurance premium tax. So mm. Some of it is about government doing things where it can help the industry maintain its competitive position, and some of it is about government not doing things that would, I, would worsen that competitive position. Increasing IPT is an easy option for government, but it has very real, very real unintended consequences of reducing future uh, protection through either uh, underinsurance or no insurance, which is very relevant in today's economic climate. It also costs the insurance sector a considerable amount of time and money to deal with the, the collection of this tax. And any, and any increase uh, in the rate in, involves processes and systems, which is also costly. And that cost is obviously passed on to the consumer. Taxing IPT is taxing insurance protection. Yeah, I, I think uh, what, was, what was going to be said and what was going to be delivered by government is going to be slightly tainted by uh, international events, especially Japan. I think there is a, a, a concern among ministers that uh, what they would have liked to have got over in the budget is going to be subdued now and they're going to be a bit more conciliatory about the, the, uh, the message they want to send out. Um, the impact on global share prices has had uh, a dramatic effect right across uh, the East and West. So I think you're going to get a very benign flat budget. You're going to get a state of the nation speech that's going to say, look, you know, recovery is, is patchy. Uh, you're going to get a situation where inflation is uh, running out of control. We've talked again, not just about the UK industry being competitive, but the, the role it can play in refinancing the UK economy. And the ABI has come out very supportive of the Green Investment Bank. We need to remember that the big insurers are not just in the business of insuring risk, they are also big institutional investors. Clearly Treasury need funds, but government ha has to balance the importance of the general insurance sector to the UK. To balance and to recognise the need to, to make sure that they retain one of the, the UK's key areas or centres of excellence that they, that they have and to do that they need to, to create an environment which provides competitive tax and stability on tax which ensures that we have, you know, there, there's some certainty for the future on that.